We are the Rockets team at the University of California Merced. My name is Kyle Chun, and I'm the director and the flyer of record for UC Merced's very first two-stage rocket for the Argonia Cup 2024. But first, let's learn a little bit more about the team who built this rocket. Uh, my name is Noah Price. I'm a third year mechanical engineering major. Hi, you're at UC Merced. Um, I do a lot of things at Rockets Academy. Uh, I've had prior experience in a machine shop, so because of that, I've spent a lot of my time helping people just get the way around here, learning to use all these big, heavy power tools we got. Uh, alongside this, I have a lot of experience with CAD, so I've been helping a lot of a lot of modeling, a lot of design work, as well as a lot of the actual physical uh, physical putting together of the entire thing. It's a lot more both ends of the spectrum, both ends of the design and the uh, components creation. One of the big things I did recently is um, I helped make, or I helped I helped uh, put together a big model of the rocket, and specifically um, we use that to calculate and kind of visualize how much mass we'd be able to put inside uh, for the payload and where we'd, be able, where we'd be able to distribute that mass in order to um, make sure we get all of our center of gravity calculations correct, things like that. And I feel very accomplished about that because that took a hell of a long time. My name is Ashley Doniker. I'm a first year at UC Merced and I am doing mechanical engineering. For the Argonian Cup rocket, um, I helped a lot with the mock rocket to help understand some of the features that will go into the main competition rocket. Um, I also worked on the motor mount tube for the first and second stage and uh, focusing on the centering rings for the motor mount tube um, and epoxying those in the rocket. I also worked on some of the CAD work for the sleds in the, in the electronics bay and learning a lot from that. And I also worked on the design work for the outside of the rocket and painting. Hi, my name is Eduardo Hernandez. I am a first year mechanical engineering student here at UC Merced. Uh, my primary job here was, like, was helping with the manufacturing of the rocket. I worked in prepping for the bonding of the rocket, that being the fins and the filleting of the fins. That was a lot of sanding, cleaning, disinfecting, and redoing, re going again. And then after that, I helped with the finish work of the fins, of the fillets, where I, where I cleaned up the fillets, I cleaned up the box that was leaking, making sure to keep the, like, the importance of aerodynamics in the rocket. There wasn't anything that was out of order. I did not help on the uh, on an error with the with the rod for the motor mo rod was too long, so I helped cut and then tap holes for a new uh, motor retention. And then after that, uh, and then I'll also be part of the campus team. So my primary job will be to help uh, document the uh, document the trip. That being like the rocket, you know, before and after photos of the after the rocket, making sure everything is well documented and everything is good. Hello, my name is Patrick Vasquez. I am a second year mechanical engineering major and I've been with AIAA for roughly a year now. Um, so far, I have contributed to the projects known as Rockets Academy and Project Turbine. And from these experiences, I've been able to gain so much from the project leads and the directors themselves. And within Rockets Academy, uh, I recently obtained my level one certification. And based off that, I was able to find my inspiration towards rocketry and pursue it even more, becoming a more consistent, more drive, more um, dedicated member to the team. And because of those factors, I have recently been promoted to project manager in AIAA for Rockets Academy. And essentially, what's my roles have been so far is just been to oversee most of the production of the rockets as well as some of the design that goes into it. Um, and because of that, I feel that I am well prepared to take an even higher position in Rockets Academy in the future. And yeah, I will be seeing you guys in Kansas. Thank you. Hi. My name is Sarveshwaran Chandramoli Ayer and I'm a second year mechanical engineering student at UC Merced. I recently joined AIAA Rockets Academy and I had the wonderful opportunity of working at the project rocket for uh, the Argonia Cup. Um, under Kyle's leadership, I was able to work on the design process for the Argonia Cup and the initial design for the rocket. Besides that, I was able, uh, I was able to work on the parachute as well as the motor mount for the uh, project. 
Hi, my name is Cameron Block. I'm a material science and engineering major here at UC Merced. Um, I've been with AAA for a while. I'm a senior. Um, and I'll be graduating in the semester, so I'm, I'm on my way out. Um, as far as what I've uh, done for AAA, I'm a current project manager. Uh, helped a lot with planning, uh, but mostly what I try and focus on is trying to help uh, teach new members. Uh, that's why, at least with this uh, Argonia Cup project, I've been less active, in part because I'm on my way out, but also, more importantly, I want to make sure that the newer members, the rising stars of AAA, get all the, the experience that they deserve. That's mostly it. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> well, hi, my name is Eric. I'm a first year. I'm a mechanical engineering major. And for the competition roster, I believe I played a uh, role in helping putting the fuel stock together and also in fixing the epoxy and putting, applying the epoxies for putting the front body and fits together. Let's Zero. So, how are we going to get this thing off the ground? We're going to fire two sets of motors to get this thing as high as we can. We're going to fire an Aerotech L1420 rocket motor followed by an Aerotech K750. This will reach us to an altitude greater than 9,000 feet, carrying around 60 golf balls as high as we can. To ignite the second stage, we fashioned our own igniter using a combination of Blue Thunder rocket propellant and an MLG Firewire initiator. This is due to the voltage requirements required to light a rocket motor. To ensure that we can stage successfully, we must follow three rules. Altitude, velocity, and orientation. Controlling all of this is our Featherweight Blue Raven flight computer. This flight computer has a barometric sensor to tell how high it is, a inertial measurement unit to tell orientation, and is capable of lighting multiple ignition systems, whether it's recovery or ignition. Our backup flight computer on this flight will be a Eggtimer Quantum flight computer. This computer is quite flight proven, I've flown it myself, and it is capable of firing two charges. That is a drogue charge and a main charge. Next, let's talk recovery. Our first stage is equipped with one parachute. This is a 30 inch diameter parachute. And our second stage is equipped with two parachutes, a 77 inch main parachute followed by a 20 inch drogue parachute. Our drogue chute is about one fourth the size of our main parachute. And our main parachute ensures that we touch down at a velocity less than 35 feet per second. For the deployment of our parachutes, we're gonna be using a series of charge wells that we have proven in the past with aluminum 661 charge wells. On this flight, we're going to be using ABS 3D printed charge wells. These charge wells we have already tested and each charge well is going to be loaded with about 5 grams of gunpowder or black powder. Within these charge wells is going to be an MLG firewire initiator. These charge wells will then be topped off with a piece of aluminum tape ensuring that the charges build up enough pressure before bursting, allowing for the airframe to be filled with pressure, therefore deploying our parachutes. The nose cone of our second stage, as well as the upper airframe of our second stage, is secured to our lower airframe with a series of three 440 shear pins. Each shear pin is designed to break at a maximum of about 75 pounds of force. So if you do some quick math, that will be a total of around 300. Oh, okay, we won't go into that. In the second stage of our two-stage rocket, we have fabricated a forward bulkhead which can be bolted in place that will secure 30 golf balls in the lower airframe of our second stage. This is also where our primary recovery system for our second stage attaches to in the form of a wire harness, a swivel, and a bunch of quick links. In the nose cone of our second stage are the remainder of the approximately 30 golf balls. This is where we have more golf balls loaded into the rocket. The nose cone is secured to its shoulder with a series of plastic rivets. It's capable of carrying uh, roughly 60 golf balls. We have a 77 inch main parachute in our upper stage right here. And this uses a standard dual deploy configuration with a uh, 30 inch drogue here. The way we calculated the size of the drogue parachute is that the size of the drogue parachute roughly is one fourth the size of the main. This ensures that we come down reasonably quickly and uh, we don't go ballistic on the way down. Here we have our first stage. 
Our first stage is fairly small. Um, I should say that uh, this is built out of a Wildman uh, Rocketry Argonia Cup Kit, so designed specifically with competition. Uh, this parachute in here is actually fairly small. It's a 30-inch main, uh, mainly because the first stage is actually fairly light, and so we estimate it'll come down pretty quickly. But the last thing to mention here is that in here, we'll have a separation charge for redundant uh, separation. There's a really good quote by Peter J. Beck of Rocket Lab that says, make everything you do look beautiful. The delivery of our two-stage rocket was designed by a friend in Ireland in which it incorporates both the UC Merced colors as well as the colors of AIAA, creating a striking and bold aesthetic for our rocket. With that being said, that is everything about our rocket for the Argonia Cup competition in 2024. We look forward to competing in the Argonia Cup in Kansas, and we'll see you there.